Hi, Chris here at Bodyboard Depot, and today we're going to take a look at the newly released and Bodyboard Depot's very own board, the TZ1. Right then, well straight out of the box, I think this thing looks fantastic. I love the slick black and pink colourway, love the Bodyboard Depot logos, and the first thing that you're going to notice is just how light it is. It really doesn't seem to weigh anything. And you know when you just get that feel of a board, I honestly think this, this board feels great. But let's look at some of the tech specs. So what does all that jargon actually mean? Well, first we had the PE core. Now, I don't know what you know about cores. You've got the PP, the PE, the NRG, and all the rest of it. We're not gonna go into the differences between them now, but essentially what you need to know is the PE core is a much softer material, which makes it ideal for cooler water and perfect for the UK. So this new spur technology that you probably haven't heard of before, now what that's enabled them to do is actually to remove the stringer or stringers. Conventionally, there'd be a stringer running down the middle or parallel side by side. Now, they're not in this board, which is why it is so light. Instead, what this spur core is, it's a plate that actually sits in the middle of the board, which distributes the strength more evenly, and also, obviously, as we were saying, makes it really light, but also gives it that real nice rigidity. Hey, not sure if you can see that, but that's the, uh, the graduated channels there for, the, for maintaining speed down the line and control. 60-40 rails, again, for locking in, trimming on the wave face, but also giving you nice release for the maneuvers. And uh, of course, yeah, the, the Bodyboard Depot logos, which I think makes this board look great. Okay, so who's this board actually for? I mean, coming in at just under 100 pounds, that's quite inexpensive and sounds cheap, but it doesn't feel cheap. It's got a pro template, it's got all the tech inside as we've just discovered, and it, and it, feels, like a, it feels like a good board. I mean, I think this board's for everyone. I think if you've been bodyboarding a little while or you've just got into bodyboarding, it'd be a great choice. So equally, I think if you've been bodyboarding a long time, there's not too many situations where I wouldn't feel comfortable taking this board out. Honestly, I think if you're a global barrel hunter that seeks some of the heaviest waves on the planet, probably not. You might want to go for a top of the top of the range board, but I think in most situations, especially in the UK and cooler water, this is a great choice. Now, the way a board looks should never be the main reason you purchase a bodyboard, but I've got to say it again, this thing looks great. And I think the Bodyboard Depot have done a fantastic job with the design. I've actually got myself a nice leash as well from Found, pink leash there to go with the colorway. So I'm super excited about my new setup. All in all, this board is a, a middle to top of the range board, which represents fantastic value for money and would be a really good choice for most bodyboarders. I hope this review has been helpful. If you've got any questions about these products or any of our products online, don't hesitate to get in touch. We always enjoy hearing from you. Thanks for watching. I'm Chris at Bodyboard Depot and this has been the review for the Bodyboard Depot TZ1.